Imagine being able to build and deploy a complete AI agent in just minutes. No server setup, no complicated frameworks, and no endless documentation. That's exactly what Toolhouse delivers. Toolhouse is a backend as a service that's built specifically for AI developers. Whether you're creating an assistant to handle daily tasks, a code review bot, or a fully custom automation agent, Toolhouse takes care of the complex backend so that you can focus entirely on building. It's fast, developer friendly, and designed for those who like to vibe code, create great things quickly without friction. Just take a look at this demo to see how powerful Toolhouse really is. I started building a simple AI agent that acts like a regular person. Its only job was to send me an email requesting to meet, just like a normal user would. But behind the scenes, the email was generated and sent by an AI agent that I built using Toolhouse, all within a couple of minutes. Next, I built a second agent, which is a scheduler agent. This one automatically scans my inbox for meeting requests as well as creates calendar invites and even pings me on Discord to keep me updated. To make it all work, I simply pasted the URL of a remote MCP server. In this case, one was hosted through Zapier, which connected the agent to the Google Calendar, Gmail, as well as Discord, with no complex setup and no manual integration. I then deployed all the agents with a single click and Toolhouse instantly spun up a hosted UI so I can start chatting with it right away. And as soon as I did this, the scheduler agent activated. It read the email from the first agent, created a calendar event based on the meeting request, and then it sent me a notification through Discord. All of this happened automatically, and it was powered by Toolhouse and the MCP. And I didn't write a single line of backend code, which is the amazing part. Well, you may wonder, what's the point of using Toolhouse? Well, the reason is because building with most AI projects is where you often deal with different APIs, databases, and vector stores. But with Toolhouse, it makes it super effortless. It provides a complete backend for AI applications right out the box, and it's going to let you build AI agents rapidly with any large language model, and you can connect it with various sorts of tools to automate and build anything. This is where you can connect it with tools like Notion, Gmail, or Slack through MCP and add RAG for document ingestion in seconds. Everything runs smoothly from one unified platform where there's no complex setup, no extra configuration. Just open Toolhouse and you can build your agent in natural language and you can deploy it in less than a couple of minutes. To get started, it is super simple. Use the link in the description below to head over to Toolhouse. And once you are here, click on start building. This will prompt you to either sign in with an account or you can create one completely for free. After creating an account or signing in, you're going to be then greeted with the main dashboard of Toolhouse. Now, you have two ways to get started. You can either use the Agent Studio where you can simply type in a prompt in plain natural language to build out your agent, or you can use the CLI to build it out as well. You have two different ways to do this, and I'll showcase the CLI method later on in the video. But this is essentially where you can describe anything you want your AI agent to do and it will be fully built out. Now there's also a couple of different pre-built options that you can work with, different agents in different domains that have been already configured. And you can discover all of these different agents amongst these categories so that you can easily get started with the template. Now within the left hand side you have the agent studio where you can manage all of your agents that you have created. You have agent runs where you can track individual records of what happened with each run and you can see all the results and logs of generations. Bundles are essentially where you can group a bunch of different MCPs that your agent can use. If you click on create bundle, you can have it so that you can enable all of these external tools that your AI agent can access from Tavli web search to something like sending an email. It has the ability to access all of these external tools that can basically enhance your agent's capability. You can even schedule different agent runs. You can even use different external MCP servers. So if you want to add in an MCP, you can request that as well. There is a lot of different servers that you can use and power your AI agent with. And to showcase how simple it is, for example, say if I want to use this template for Seed Stage Startup Finder, where it builds an agent to find Seed Stage SaaS startups on Crunchbase and Angelus, we can click on Use Now, and it will then send in the prompt to the Agent Studio to work on building it out, where it can configure the agent title, system prompt, as well as the user message. And you can see right away, it has already developed the agent for us. 
This is where we requested it to build an agent to find the startups off of those two websites. And now with the agent UI, you can send in any prompts to interact with that agent. So we can ask it to please find a list of seed stage SaaS startups from Crunchbase and AngelList. And it's gonna be able to use its tools that are built within the agent, like web searching as well as crawling. And you can see that it's gonna be able to extract a list of different startups that are found off of Crunchbase as well as AngelList. And after a couple of seconds, you can see that it was able to create a comprehensive list of new seed stage SaaS startups off of Crunchbase as well as AngelList. Not only the website, the description, the location, as well as the funding stage. Just off of this single prompt, a textual prompt, it was able to build out this agent that has web searching capabilities, scraping capabilities, and so much more. This is the capability of Toolhouse and how you can easily build different production ready agents. And you can access the code and once you're ready, you can even publish it. So if needed, you can access and share this link around so others can access this agent. And now that you have basically created the backend functionality of your app, you can then have it connected to a front end builder like Lovable or Bolt. And you can basically vibe code it further where you can have it create the front end with these two tools and then have it connected with this agent, which I'll showcase in a second. You can also have it so that you can access it via API, and then you can even schedule it for auto-scheduled weekly execution. In this case, if you already have a Lovable account, you can head over to it, and you can copy this through your clipboard, this message over here, and then you can send it into Lovable so that it can then work on building out the front-end component of your agent. Toolhouse already provides that front-end chatbot, but say if you want to build it within an app, that is where you can use Lovable. This is where it will create the interface. It will have it so that it's a standalone app where others can access its interactive accessibility, and it is something that's going to be production ready, all without writing a single line of code. You can see that it is creating the plan for this. And there we go. We have our Lovable app fully developed, and this is where we can converse with the agent that was developed with Toolhouse. And you can see that I sent in the exact same prompt that I did within Toolhouse, and it's gonna execute it by using the agent's capabilities. And just like that, we have the same functionality of our agent working within this front end that Lovable built. But guys, say if you wanna use it within the CLI, well, it's super simple. You can use the npm install command and you can open up your command prompt. You can paste this in and it's gonna to install Toolhouse CLI onto your computer. And to create a new agent, you can use the th new command. And this is where you can simply go ahead and build out a custom agent directly within your CLI. This is where I have given it the name as stock market agent. And this is where you can now go ahead and deploy the agent. And that is by using the th deploy command. Then we can go ahead and authenticate this by logging in with our tools account. And then what you can do is use the TH vibe and then whatever agent you have created. And you can now have it so that you can instantly generate a deployed front end either with Lovable, Bolt, or V0. This is where you can use whatever option you want. But this is an option where you can use the CLI to guide you through selecting your preferred vibe coding service. And you can generate the required prompt and redirect you to a live agent interface. And if you want to configure the prompt before you deploy it, you can definitely go into the YAM file and you can configure the system prompt here within your IDE or any sort of editor. And yep, you can do exactly the same thing off of Toolhouse's hosted method within the Agent Studio. And if you want to change the code, like the system prompt, you can add additional information directly within this editor that's built within the Agent Studio. But let's say you want to enhance your agent even further. Well, you can do so with MCPs. This is where you can empower it with external tools and data processing capabilities with different tool sets like Exa Web Search, which allows your large language model to search the internet, send emails, and so many other types of capabilities. In this case, we're scraping contents, but you want it to do a better job in terms of scraping. We know a tool that can do that, which is Firecrawl. I can use whatever MCP server like Firecrawl MCP to scrape better contents off of websites. I can configure it by providing my API key. And what's nice is that you can even bundle multiple MCP servers that your agent can use. This is where you can enable a list of them that your agent can use. And all you gotta do is just configure it within the agent studio, the prompt itself, so that it runs that bundle particularly.
you will be able to access the MCP server directly with this button where you can manage the API key directly from here. Now, what I can do is within the code, I can tell it to use the firecrawl MCP. And I've just rewrote the prompt so that it uses the firecrawl MCP. I can click save. And once that is done, what we can do is then now go over to preview and then send in any sort of request that will use the firecrawl MCP based off of the configurations we had provided. So let's just rerun this prompt and it will now use the firecrawl MCP to scrape the different contents off of AngelList as well as Crunchbase. We can see there is a list of newer companies compared to what I saw previously and it was able to find a lot more and US based as well as companies that are seed stage funding. Overall, you can see that it did a decent job in doing this and a lot better than the previous scraper. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on Toolhouse. This is an incredible way for you to build AI agents in less than a couple of minutes to connecting different sorts of MCP servers as well as deploying it instantly. It puts the power of AI deployment at your fingertips and it's something that you can do quite rapidly. I'll leave all these links in the description below as well as your Discord where there is a lot of ways for you to access developer docs and as well as just simply chat with the community. But that's basically it, guys. A great tool, and I highly recommend that you use this with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.